Hello friends, welcome to our mathematics program for grade 7. This is the fourth part of the program on angles. Today we'll have a look at the meaning of complementary angles, supplementary angles and angles at a point. Finally, we are going to end the program with some exercises for you to practice. Complementary angles. Complementary angles have a sum of 90 degrees. That is, they form a right angle. They add up to 90 degrees. For example, 50 degrees and 40 degrees are complementary angles. Other pairs can be 70 degrees and 20 degrees, 64 degrees and 26 degrees, 75 degrees and 15 degrees. You will notice that the sum of the pairs will give you 90 degrees. Therefore, they are complementary angles. If these two angles are complementary, what is the size of angle X? As X degrees and 35 degrees are complementary angles, their sum is 90 degrees. Therefore, the value of X will be 90 degrees minus 35 degrees, which is equal to 55 degrees. Supplementary angles. Supplementary angles have a sum of 180 degrees, that is, they form a straight angle. For example, 60 degrees and 120 degrees are supplementary angles. Other pairs can be 40 degrees and 140 degrees, 110 degrees and 70 degrees. In both cases, you will notice that the sum of the two angles will give you 180 degrees. Therefore, they are supplementary angles. Let's have a look at this diagram. What is the size of angle Y? Since they are supplementary angles, the angle Y will be 180 degrees minus 110 degrees which is equal to 70 degrees. Let's try some more examples. It is good practice to take a moment and study the figure. We have a small square in the figure. This indicates that it is a right angle, that is 90 degrees. The right angle is divided into two parts, the complementary angles. One part is 50 degrees, therefore the second part labeled A is 90 degrees minus 50 degrees is equal to 40 degrees. So the answer is A is equal to 40 degrees. In figure 2, we see a straight angle, that is, the sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degrees. The straight angle is divided into three parts. Therefore, the unknown angle, in this case denoted by the alphabet B, is 180 degrees minus the sum of 23 degrees and 46 degrees. Therefore, the angle B is equal to 111 degrees. Now we are going to have a look at angles at a point. You will remember that in our first program, we talked about a full turn, which is 360 degrees. In this figure, 360 degrees is divided into five parts. The sum of the two unknown angles will be 360 degrees minus the sum of 99 degrees plus 109 degrees plus 65 degrees. Therefore, 2y plus y is equal to 87. 
the value of y will be 87 divided by 3, which gives us 29 degrees. So, the value of y is equal to 29 degrees. The following is a worksheet for you to practice. You may also download the worksheet from the website appearing on your screen. Let's have a quick recap of what we have learned today. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. Friends, we have reached the end of our program. Hope you have enjoyed it. Till next time, it's goodbye.